Hey everybody, welcome to AJS News. This is video two of two for today. Mm -hmm. But first, we have a really important word from our sponsors. I want to tell you about one of the best video games that I played yeah. on Friday. It's a new one. I mean, one. seriously, it was the best game that I played that day. They're it's paying called, us a I lot so of money. Fun. Yeah, yeah. Suicide Squad Kill uh, Rocksteady came out, and uh, it was super amazing because we got to play the Junkler, and he like there were so many jokes. Um, we got OJ paid. laughed once or something. Yeah. And uh, the mission types are really Couldn't cool. Hold back. But most Amazing. importantly, they gave me money. <laughs> yes, and, they uh, gave us money. Each of us, they gave us enough money to buy a Lamborghini. Each of us. I don't fit in the Lamborghini. Yeah, okay, well, Top they bought off. you a uh, Uranus, the, the bigger Lamborghini. The Uranus. Mm. The Uranus. Oh. The Uranus. <laughs> oh, okay. You, you don't know that Lamborghini, the want... SUV? Oh, okay. It's sitting out front. I mean, Alex, yeah. duh. What oh, the hell? Yeah. I mean, they paid us money. Guys, thank you for the sponsorship from WB Games. They're, they They're are so the rich. Best. They make the best content. <clears throat> That's good stuff. <laughs> Clearly, we are not sponsored by WV Games. Go watch my angry fucking rant on how big of a disaster their, right their right season now. one is with the Jonkler. Mm -hmm. Correct. The Jonkler. Melvin um, the Jonkler. Yeah, we're not sponsored by them. We're sponsored. This episode is sponsored by you guys. You guys that support us. If you like watching us uh, suffer through these bad games and, oh, and live service so bullshit and the angry reviews and the angry rants and everything else that we do here, you know, Twitch, uh, movies, streaming, board game content, then consider joining our Patreon, uh, which forms the backbone of the mobile infantry that keeps us going even if all else goes to shit. Thank you guys so much uh subscribe and spread the word let's get to the news <clears throat> part two uh i i did this is a hard week to look at shit on the internet especially for gaming news because a lot of it's like fake and weird and so i saw that cheech and chong are coming to warzone and i had to check the date what and then i like rechecked the date and oh, then i like went to the website and i was like say fools. and it's like but it came out march 27th and that's like way too fucking early for yeah. an april fools so cheech and chong are coming to warzone wow uh unless okay. this is like a, an elaborate and kind of stupid thing but even if it's know. real, it's kind of stupid. A lot of older it guys do play COD, so they would know who Cheech and Chong is. I doubt, like, TikTok generation knows who Cheech and Chong is. Do you think, Joe? I don't think they know. Yeah, I don't think no. they know. Yeah, it's but been, I, don't, I like yeah. them, but I, I'm not going to buy a for, skin. No, not for that. It's a weird crossover. It's I don't think I it is that. a pretty weird crossover. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's voiced by them, so that's great. So Tommy Chong and Cheech Marin. So Maren, it's um, real. Are you sure this is an April Fool's and you're just a... Uh, I mean, that's, it's, a, that's a really good April Fool's where they start three days early. <laughs> All right, well, yeah. I believe it. Yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah, it's on the Call of Duty blog, uh, PC Gamer. It's like, I don't Very loud. I don't know. Oops. I understand the Warhammer 40K one, which, by the way, I tried. We tried. It was disappointing. Um, it was disappointing. At least the one that I bought. I bought Sisters of Battle. It doesn't really, you know, change much. You don't get to see her. her voice. Doesn't change the. You know, it's the guns are always garbage. You know, in that game to succeed, you have to have the meta guns. And so yes. any of the, the guns meta guns are tied is, to the most recent game. And if you haven't done any of the grinding in the multiplayer for the most recent game, it's tough. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Um. Marvel this week has also unveiled its Overwatch-style hero shooter. It's Marvel Rivals. Marvel Rivals. We covered it. Go check our yeah. video out on it, but we'll talk about it more over here. Yeah, Alex, bunch of, what is it? Bunch of characters, six-on-six six Overwatch shooter. It's kind of funny because it's made by NetEase, which is the company that Blizzard used to work with to bring Blizzard games into China. They had a pretty famous falling out yep. where NetEase is like, hey, we've built your Fuck business you. here. Give us some money. And Blizzard's like, we can do it without you. And he's like, no, you fucking can't. And... Uh, Blizzard's not doing so hot, and NetEase is doing very, very well. So uh, this is interesting. Um, I actually hope it kind of it, it at least lights a fire under the ass of these people to put out some content that people actually want, especially yeah, with Blizzard. Overwatch 2 canceling the PvE stuff, and it's not selling well, and yeah. they're not doing profit sharing. Pretty much everything we've talked about Overwatch has been negative Bad. on top of the game just being not I was good. saying if Marvel Rivals does PvE story content, it's fucking over, but, I, but they don't have that. No. I guarantee you they don't have that plan. They're just cashing in on that mode mm -hmm. that Blizzard cashed in from, from Steam, Valve. Yeah, <clears throat> so it's it's gonna come out. It's a, a big bankable IP, and we'll just have to see if there's something that just kind of destroys the, the player base of Overwatch, like some of the other ones have. So, um. <laughs> I 
We also got some news. <laughs> I just love seeing his reaction. Oh yeah. Keep going. Keep going. Uh, Sega and the CWA agree on, a, uh, agree on the first major U.S. game, uh, Dev Union. So this is unionized. Hey. Uh, yeah, so new benefits such as increased base pay, layoff protection, and crediting uh, commitment, That's which is a, a fucking dumb thing that the video game industry has yeah. where we don't credit devs who crunch yeah, and don't see a, their faces. Why do we have to put though. that in the document? People are so fucking shitty. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, you worked on this? No, you didn't work on this. I worked on this. What? What? Yeah. yeah, and this is for actual devs too. Well, not actual devs. This is for everybody. It's get, uh, game design, translation, and marketing. So, of course, the one that we always worry about that needs the most protection, which is QA, is completely left off. Oh yes, QA. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So this is for for game design, translation, and marketing. So so you have devs and QA in the same one, and I guess yeah, just keep out. The CEOs and the shareholders. Yeah, um, this is a good thing. I think unions are good for the vast majority of workers and the vast majority of industries. It's kind of what help establish the middle class in uh, most of the, the developed world. So this is, this is amazing. The problem is, as unions have increased, the shittiness of some of these companies has also increased normally, like, like proportionally much larger. And so... I'm worried that people are going to kind of relax a little bit and be like, oh, we did it. And it's like, no, no, we have to put, we have to continue to push because mm-hmm. the rest of the industry needs to catch up. And they're still, they can still just be like, all of you are gone and we can easily replace all of you. Yeah. 1,900 people just gone fucking immediately. This, like, oh, yeah, let me see this list. Okay. Well, all these people are fired. Yeah. <laughs> There's a little bit more protections, but not nearly enough. So, like, this is a good thing. But if we're really trying to improve the industry and the lives of the people who actually make the video games, yeah. not the suits at the top and the shareholders who have nothing to do with it, yes. then uh, devs and Q and A need to be protected. Uh, you know, <coughs> because they help make our games. Now we can yell. The Q and A sometimes don't uh, are hamstrung by management, and it's yeah. unfair to blame them for how buggy games are, especially if Joe gets a hold of your game. He's the ultimate Q and A guy. They, some if motherfuckers you don't put need my to hire goddamn Joe. name on there. I'll be somebody, fucking living. <laughs> somebody needs to put fucking Joe in, in a Q and A division. That'd be the most polished game ever. It but would never come out. He would just constantly find new bugs. Broken. Oh They're yeah. Like, yeah. How? How did you do this? No, 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 I turn around yeah. too quick. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm glad it's that broken. there's protections for both, uh, you know, developers and Q&A. Yeah. They're, they're, all, they're all very important. Yeah. Uh, Bungie made a bunch of dumb fucking decisions recently, and we'll talk about them. Um, the Ooh. first one is we Ooh. got uh, – there's a new season coming, and so let me get to the, the other – Destiny? Part. Yeah. Yeah, oh, the uh, – what is it called? Uh, uh, the Lightbringer? Yeah. Uh, the, to, to actually get to the story because the last one – or no, no, there wasn't Lightbringer. Uh, the last one was, and it was just kind of a stopgap to get to this one. So we'll see. Mm-hmm. They made the decision that they were going to t- like slowly drip out the loot over the course of the period. So the Recluse, Hung Jury, Succession, Edge Transit, Elsie's Rifle, and Hung a couple Jury. others Hello. will unlock one at a time each week through uh, the week of May 21st, meaning 12 of the weapons will will be coming out, and only six of them will be able to be available at launch, yeah. which means you have a very short period of time to get some of the other ones, and everyone's like, what the fuck are you doing? Stop trying to force me to play every single week throughout this thing. Not everyone has time Not like that. Not everyone wants to do that. And so, of course, Reddit, Twitter, everyone who talk, everywhere they talk about Destiny is like, this is a dumb fucking decision. Like, how many times do we have to teach you this <laughs> lesson uh, type thing? And so, um, you know, 3,500 upvotes uh, on a comment says, I don't understand why you decided to do it when you knew the player base would completely hate this decision, according to Star Augur. Um, I thought the whole goal of Into the Light was to hype people to buy the final shape, and it just it just kind of sucked all the air out of the room, and no one wanted to, to do any of that stuff. Now, they, Bungie has heard uh, all, how upset everyone is, and so now <clears throat> they've said you will be able to collect the entire set as of April 30th, so you're not going to have to have everything slowly dripped out. It was kind of a silly decision either it way. Was. It was. It just doesn't make sense. If you were a massive Destiny fan, are you going to want to like only have a s- small available? What if the one that you want is only at the end? You probably only play at the end. So it's like I don't I don't know what they're doing. But this is the 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 live service held that that we live in, and having a company that's kind of out of ideas, and is kind of at odds with its player. Well, base. we still have friends that play it. And they were yeah. playing this week. Yeah. I saw. Yeah. Um, <laughs> look. <laughs> Sometimes smart people make really dumb fucking decisions, and we have to accept them for their faults, and that's fine. But 
Yeah. Yeah. So fortunately, I mean, this is one of those things that when a group of people who play the game are passionate about the game, Mm -hmm. tell the game developers, hey, you are fucking the game. Especially these people who are tired of defending the game. They're like, you're fucking this up. They're like, you're making me look even worse than I do. Yeah, it's like this. (laughs) So it's nice to see a game developer go back. I can't do this anymore. (laughs) Yeah, I can't defend you. Uh, So, you know, complaining about the things that you're passionate about in a constructive way is a way to get the attention of some of these devs and you can actually get some stuff changed. Well, it's a good thing they fix it, but it should have never happened in the first place. Yeah. You it's know. bad decisions by someone at the top, and I'm yeah, probably – it's like, well, maybe if the if the fans revolt, maybe we'll change it. But, but everyone is in the rooms like, that sounds like a good idea. No, no, it doesn't. Yeah. It does not. Yeah. But in that meme, you're thrown out of the window. Yeah. Right? So, yeah, can't do that. Uh, another massive company has been sold off from the Embracer Group, Take-Two – is acquiring Gearbox for $460 million. Um, and our uh, Randy Pitchford is going to remain leader uh, of the, the developer. So, uh, and I mean, it's, ama- it's another absolutely massive sale. Embracer Group is kind of paring their, their company down uh, and is changing their model because starting in a couple of years ago, they started acquiring absolutely everyone that they could. And they were going to, as when the game industry was booming, everything was going great. And now that we're seeing a, a slowdown of the mm-hmm. market, they're having to sell a, a bunch of stuff out. So Gearbox is going to operate within take two's label and will continue to be led by, by Randy. Um, they've got a bunch of new games on the horizon. So, and the um, movie, it's going to bring players back. Oh, dozens of, people are, dozens of people are going to love that movie. So, I mean, if they, they can, they're going to make <laughs> dozens of dollars. Dozens of dollars. So it's gonna well, I, got, I got an amendment on that one. So Embracer CEO says that the new plan after restructuring ended with the sale of Gearbox and they're done firing people and restructuring. Here's the new plan, Joe. Kay. Ready? Yes. Simply making better products and games. I like it. Wrap it. Let's Bold go. strategy. Oh, Bold strategy. Why didn't we think Gotten. of that before? Bold strategy. Oh my god. That makes sense. Uh, makes sense. This. Uh, I don't know how this guy still has his job. Honestly. I mean, the the board will probably reevaluate the position and be like, "Hey, this big deal fell through. Then you had to sell all of our companies away." And if he doesn't have a very, very, very good plan, he we may be having a news article about. That's him, a pretty so. good plan. Yeah, that that's it. You could just simply do that. You could just like, oh shit! Instead of making hmm. shitty games, we can make good games. How wow. about we make more money? Yeah, better I like games. that plan. Yeah, I like that plan. Huh? I'm a little worried huh? about what he means by better games. Better at generating profits. Yes. Uh, better at uh, you know yeah. when the mind-blowing microtransactions um but yeah uh he's been in charge during some some things that have not gone so well and it doesn't seem like ceos are really you know taken to task for anything well they got bobby kotick just you know never got fired essentially just went off into the sunset with tons and tons of money yep so you can fuck up as much as you want mostly uh, you know and then make exorbitant amounts of money uh, while you're letting everybody go. And then when you get fired, uh, they give you a parachute. massive parachute. And it's like, oh, no, I got fired, and you gave me $30 million. It's like, what? what am I going to do? Uh, what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, we'll see uh, how, how things go. Um, but, you know, uh, this guy, I don't know how he's still there. I mean, the $2 billion deal collapsed, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, they closed Volition, one of my favorite developers, after they were made uh, fucking uh, Saints Row, the terrible Saints Row remake. I don't even blame it on that guy. That's kind of Volition's fault. Mm, yeah, who knows if uh, that guy bad. was involved and yeah. said, look, we should reboot it, make it cool and awesome to appeal to the new generation. But it wasn't cool that nor awesome, yeah. I know. but we did get that uh, weird-ass fucking cat. That, <laughs> that weird cat. Terrible Still cat. remember that cat, Joe. You had to bring up that cat. Who you could go, forget? Can you put a oh, God. Of You're going to have to clip the whole thing. That's a lot of work, but you're going to have to do it. You're the Damn one that brought it up. Free Radical, they closed, and that's unforgivable. Fucking badass uh, developers. And, of course, they canceled a uh, Deus Ex game. To me, that's also unforgivable. Uh, of course, the layoff of thousands of employees, and a they had to sell uh, the uh, Saber Interactive that did uh, Space Marine 2. Um, yeah. And then recently, they got rid of Gearbox, and 2K picked them up. 
2 ks like, yeah, they're going to make money. Ooh, we'll pick them up. I don't know why you're getting rid of them. Uh, absolutely. A Borderlands game and it, where everything's a loot pinata, and sometimes we can make charge you for loot pinatas, and we can, like, have – it's a game where slot machines would like visually fit, of course. So now we're going to make better games and yeah. products. It's yeah. so Before simple. we weren't, but now we will. It's so simple. All right. Cool. All right. Tell me about Bandai Namco. Bandai Namco, yes, I have some uh, good news. Bandai Namco drops three free games, including one where you are a dog, a very messy dog ruining a house. This has overwhelmingly positive on Steam, not only because it's free, because it's uh, fun. Let's see what it says here. Uh, in Dronko Wanko, Dronko Wanko, it's Japanese, you are a tiny, adorable little Pomeranian <coughs> who will be forgiven for all their sins because you are, again, a tiny, adorable Pomeranian. You choose to use this power for violence, challenge to cause as much property damage to your owner's house as quickly that. as you can, but mud everywhere. Yeah, this is definitely an like OJ fun. Misadventures game. Um, and there's just one of three demos, but that's the demo that wins. The other one's a boomerang <laughs> game. You toss a boomerang, slide it on the rails to create. It creates. Uh, and explores through an ancient ruin. I hate boomerangs, so I don't want to do anything okay. with boomerang in the name. Okay, and now. then the other one is not a lot, which is you play as a little robot named Roly oh. who has to hack other robots in order to solve puzzles and escape the robot factory. So these are just demos? Yeah, oh. and that one's probably the weakest of the three, according to PC Gamer. But uh, these big games were basically, and why they're free, they were uh, sort of uh, made and published by a Japanese group called Phoenix at, Bando Nam at Bandai Namco, which seems to support, we now, or I'm sorry, uh, according to the Steam publisher page, we aim to support innovative and creative developers from Japan and around the world. Its mission is to inspire and nurture the human spirit, one creator, one game, and one community at a time. So Namco kind of gave them the money. Think of it like a game jam, right? They, these Japanese developers made three games. They said, cool, we'll publish them for free. Go enjoy them. So that's some bit of good news. Uh, but the best one is Doronko Wanko, which is the little Pomeranian. Wanko? Joe put some footage of that game up here. And then uh, my last story is a funny one. Tekken director asks why he uh, so many Americans on Twitter have been asking for a Waffle House I level. Why. I don't He why. didn't understand. He's like, no, I'm, he's like, legitimately, I don't know what's happening here can somebody explain this to best me best fights happen there alex can, oh yes if you look if you so waffle house or even whataburger if you're here in texas you yeah, two o'clock in the morning you play three go go there, two three o'clock in the morning we would go play like magic and then we would like drunk draft at those places and there would always be like the best fights you've ever seen um and it's like the drunkest people who can't even like read the menu that's why their menus is all pictures and you're just like that one and they then fight with each and other. then they fight and sometimes the employees, employees and sometimes the employees get into the fight and like that amazing woman who caught yes! that chair and it's just like oh but she's recruited she's, by the uh, avengers yeah, yeah. I, I, cheap I, food open 24 hours and yeah it's people not, are drunk and it's high not people the move. worst at two in the morning no so you didn't do worse yeah but. Catching a thrown chair and definitely twirling it aside. <laughs> yeah. Yes. That is a great clip. Um, See if I can find that one. So I, <laughs> I actually so a bunch of people uh, explained it to him over Twitter. I don't think he's actually replied to any of those yet. That would be fun. Um, well, that would be, probably say no. I, I, I don't wonder want to be known if as he a place could. of violence. Right. But that's what they're it known is. for. It is. <laughs> it's like, it's like Drunk, <laughs> drunk people in violence, yes. and then like waitresses who are smoking while they are serving your food, and the ashes are falling. In Corporate your would would probably not want that as their image, no. unfortunately. <laughs> but it could be called something else, like Waffle Mart, Waffle something. You just keep the the yellow logo with the black yeah. lettering, and then it's everyone gets it. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that chair, man. That chair that gets thrown at the lady, man. Yeah. Now, it, I think it was just she just got lucky at that particular moment, and it like spins on her hand. As now she's, she's an as icon. She but Waffle I'll House give icon. full credit for being a ninja. <laughs> I mean, the the joke for for years was if you want to work at Waffle House, you have to know how to fight. Yeah. And so it's like 
That's that's it. <laughs> it's in the resume right there. Uh, all right, you were really ex- really oh, excited yes, about Oh yes, I got some work. amazing news, guys. Oh. Uh, Power World just dropped a badass trailer. Hell yeah! All right. Uh, this is called More Than Just Pals. Did you ever think about dating your pals? No. Why? Well, oh, maybe you know, the dating simulator in yeah, Power World. Yeah, come on. With animals? You wouldn't want that. Like with animals? Yeah. Well, you did your pals. More than pals. More now. than pals? Pals with benefits? You didn't, you didn't think about that? Joe. No. Um, was that the only one? I think that that's, that's probably. That was released today, right? Joe, it's what fine. date is no, it? No, it's fine. What's the date? It's fine. It's What's gonna, the it's, date? It's real. It's today. What is the it's date, today. Joe? The first. The first. It's <laughs> April Fool's, Joe. There's not an. Uh, I don't think they're gonna add fucking dating, know. even though that that it, looks it, pretty. So I saw the trailer. That dollars. looks pretty crazy. No, because I was first thing I thought of was like, okay, this is gonna be like the Dead by Daylight one yeah. that they did. Date your Pokemon. Well, there's trainers, there's, and there's vendors, but also the creepy, the, the very creepy, over-sexualized ones. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. That um, mode, shit, that mode it, might happen. I honestly think it probably might. <laughs> Someone, they, someone's going to do it. They make so. a lot of really small games, right? Yeah. So, like, this is a, it, it's, it is kind of funny, it and is. as a joke, I think a lot of people would spend $10, $15 on something that would take them not a lot of, long time, and <laughs> it's real fucking weird, but... Mm. <laughs> There's so, always a market out there, Alex. Yeah. You know There's what? You market. know, if the Tekken director really likes that joke, he can actually do the Waffle House background. You know, this image of these two guys in the fighting stance mm-hmm. in front of it. Just change the name. So make it yellow yeah. and just call it something else like Pancake House, though that's probably copyrighted by somebody. There's it probably does. a Pancake House somewhere. But you know, international house you just pancakes? make it look like it and le- change the change the name to something legally distinct. Yeah. So that's the the dream is still alive. Those of <laughs> you too. who are drunk and high and want to fight in front of the Waffle House, I mean a, house. a pancake place. <laughs> Uh, guys, all right. Well, thank you all very much. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much to you. Thank you to our sponsors, WB Games, w- who gave w- us w- a lot of money, enough to give Alex his own Lamborghini Uranus, and me and Joe uh, Aventadors, please. Thank you. And uh, <laughs> no, it's it's you guys. It's our uh, Patreon, our Twitch channel, and your continued subscription and support here on YouTube. Thank you guys so much, and we will see you on the next Angry Joe Show. Bye, guys!